I got to the point where events were discouraging for me. My company convention. You ever go to your... Con- you, you, here's my story, right? I walk into a convention like this first time. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. I, they're going to teach me. And I'm going to go home. And I'm going to create a future. This is what I've always wanted. And I'm pressed up against the glass out in front. As soon as they bust in, I'm racing up as far as they'll let me sit, taking every note. And then they do the recognition program. Oh my God. And you ever notice there's different kinds of recognition? There's the stand-up, sit-down recognition. Stand up if you're at this level. Okay, sit down. (laughs) Right? And then they have the fast walk recognition. Have you seen the fast walk? You you have to prepare your friends to take the photo. Because it's like, hi, thank you for the pin, bye. It's quick. And then there was the big recognition. They got the flowers and the oversized checks and the trophies. And they got to go up to the podium and they got to thank their teams. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm writing my speech right now. Uh, This is so cool. So I went home fired up, and life got in the way between that event and the next one. And I came back, got inspired again, not quite pressed up against the glass, but still early. And then like three, four events in, it started to hurt a little. Because I started to know these people that were walking across the stage getting the flowers. And they weren't that impressive. (laughs) You know what I mean? You hear these stories. It's like, oh. You see Charlie coming up to get his award. You go, oh, here's Charlie. He's going to cry. Five, four, three, two, one. Told you. Called it. You know what I mean? I'm just like... What is the matter with me? These Forrest Gumps walking across the stage, they don't even know. They don't know the comp plan. They don't even know how they built their teams. I just have 28 million people on my team. I just don't know how it happened. Shut up. So annoying. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm working hard here. And it almost made me quit, that comparison to that, to that group. But understand this, three years prior to this, when I started network marketing, I was a minimum wage man. And I'm expecting to get this incredible results in a couple of minutes. Those people had a different story than I had prior to getting involved with this. I had a lot of personal development to do. But it was really easy to blame other people for my problems instead of taking responsibility. So I started getting pretty negative. I was ready to say, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me. And I was ready to quit. Matter of fact, in that first three and a half years, honestly, emotionally, I quit like 14 times. Never told anybody. But you know what I mean? It's just like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I I just can't do this. And then the next day, well, what else am I going to do? I... not qualified for anything else. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) So I go back to that thing and I start to develop me. And the, the part of the reason why I got annoyed and part of the reason sometimes you get annoyed is network marketing is saying you have got to get better. It's not network marketing, it's not your products, it's not your compensation plan. Guess what? You have got to get better. And your paycheck right now is a 100% accurate reflection of the value you are bringing to the organization. It's the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. That was painful to realize that I was, that was all I was worth. 
For things to get better, I had to get better. I just had to. 